You know, it isn't always easy being a Paper Mario partner. Some have actually resorted to risking their lives for money, for their children, their families, and everything. They've risked so much that they've even had to resort to such lowly standards as becoming a hot dog salesman. Yes, they've had to promote themselves as costumes for hot dogs. What the hell? It is a very hard and treacherous life. Okay, this this joke is over. Hey, it looks like you've hit a me! So welcome back to Paper Mario and the Money and Door. In the last part, we ascended further into the glitz pits and collected this giant egg that apparently is hopping around. I don't understand what kind of egg this could possibly be. Does it look like it'd be good for making cakes or anything? What? You know, I'm just gonna ignore you altogether. I really don't care. And in this episode, we're gonna see if we can ascend further into the rankings of the glitz pits. But first, let's take a siesta because that's more important than anything else. Ah, sleep, little Mario, don't say a word. Well, technically, you can't, so whatever. All right, who are we fighting this time, you ugly jerk? Uh, mind bogglers. Uh, don't be using them there. Fight some moves, son. Willy. I really don't like that guy, honestly, because he's kind of creepy, but uh, then again, I'm kind of creepy too, so it kind of works out pretty well. You know, the funny thing about this recording session just now, I could not get my GameCube controller to work for the life of me. I I keep plugging it in and everything, and it just always does that thing where it always sticks to the right. So I I keep on plugging it, putting it back in, keep on plugging it, putting it back in, that's what she said, but, but it never works. So I've actually resorted to actually hitting the thing, smacking it against the ground. Don't use FP, okay? Fine! And I actually hit it against the ground like about a good three times, and it actually just started working. I don't understand what the complication is behind using a GameCube controller, but apparently misabusing it is actually helpful. Even though I've broken so many GameCube controllers, I don't understand it quite honestly. I just tend to roll with things, so, you know, I, I don't get it. I mean, I've broken, like, five other ones besides the one I'm using right now, yet hitting it fixes it? I, I don't get it. It's crazy, man. It's just crazy. You know, there's something I don't really understand about what's going on right now. There are a whole bunch of x knots in the audience watching Mario fight. And there's a whole bunch of Shy Guys mixed in there, too. Apparently, they're, like, close resembling brothers and sisters. I don't know. What are you, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to uh, Wow! Thanks, you jerk! Jeez! That, yeah, that really helps, Shy Guy. You're not so shy, apparently. You're not, like, so freaking afraid to interfere with my fights. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Alright, since Koops is on his back, he hasn't helped at least once, I, honestly. You've been useless, Koops. I need to get Flurry back out here, even though she's ugly as they all get out. Maybe, like, appealing to the crowds might actually improve her looks or something. She might learn a thing or two from Grub over here. You know, he's pretty handsome. No, right, really, he's ugly as the... Is her, I guess. Here's your fight money. Please give it to me and shut up and leave, because I know you got more important things to do. And I'll... Yeah, I must be going. You know, I don't even know why I bother talking to you. Just give me my dang money and leave. <sighs> KP, why don't you ever shut up? You got the biggest, like, mouth ever. Listen, man, keep it on your head. But I'm thinking about retiring soon. Oh? What? If I stay here any longer, well, my future might get shorter, dig? After this match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man, that's for sure. But you know what? That's life, Double G Dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget you once knew the King K. Aww. Well, well, now that I'm knowing that he's leaving, I'm actually kind of sad. I'm sad now. I kind of liked him underneath all that shades and cocky business that he was all going on about, but I don't know. I'm all sad now. Eh, whatever. I, I don't care. Uh, the rock punch, don't even use your... Don't use my hammer! What? Dude! Man, you just picked some of the worst, like, conditions for fights, I swear to God. Uh. Okay, so Eggie Poo, you must stay behind while me and Koops go out there and fight him. I don't think Flurry would be that helpful due to, these fa due, due to the fact that these guys are rock punks. I how am I supposed to damage these guys with my stomp besides using a spin jump? I don't think that'll work that well. I don't think we've actually ran into these type of clefts yet, no. Because uh, these were actually, like, in a further down in the uh, game, actually, so yeah, we haven't run into these yet. Even though I've said that repeatedly, I just need you guys to know that. What, one damage? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hey, look, I didn't use my hammer. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> like how Coops actually just goes out there. You know what? He's like, you know what? Shut up. I don't want you. Your stupid ass stuff. I don't even know if that was a good item or a bad item. I really wasn't paying attention, to be honest. Uh, the thing about these quests right here, they actually recharge their attacks to make them stronger. And yeah, I've got a bad feeling something bad's going to happen soon. So yes, up plus six in one turn. I know. It's like, what the heck? Mini Mr. Mini makes me smaller, so my attack gets lowered. I'm going to have to resort to using an Earth Tremor. Hopefully I can actually see this right and not screw it up. You know, because I tend to do that. I tend to do that. Because I can't even use my hammer. What the heck? Why, Grandma? Why'd you resort to me not using items? This isn't Final Destination! This isn't Fox! Why? Did I get- Oh, I got him! Cool! No hammer! And I get to progress on further down the ranks! Alright. That's life for ya. Life's like a box of chocolates. You'll never know what you get. Sometimes you get the good ones, and sometimes you get the bad ones. I keep getting the good ones, so I'm just gonna keep rolling with it, because they're sweet! Oh, nothing? <gasps> he left. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. Even though you can't see him right now, we're just gonna keep fighting for now. I rhyme now with now, that doesn't really make any sense. Uh, appeal to the crowd once. Ah! <laughs> Man, you just picked the worst battle conditions ever. Um, so, let's see what else I can talk about. Uh, I keep going to Target recently, and you know, they have that little game called Stacker. It's where you, like, put those bricks on top of each other and see how high you can get it. Get it to the top, you can win some pretty good prizes. Like, they had that going out for a while. Like, you could actually win a Wii when it first came out, or a PS3, or something like that. I was thinking, wow, that's great, but you had to pay, like, a dollar to play that game for the time that it was in. It was everywhere, though, around this area. And, um... Like, recently, they had this smaller version where you only had to pay, like, 50 cents to play it. But, uh, what they had in there was actually a Target gift card, so... I could actually just pay 50 cents to get a Target gift card, and that would've been nice. And that was a bad move on my part. When you hit a bomb on, they immediately raise their attack, they ignite themselves, and this crap happens if you don't guard against it, so yeah. So yes, um, I was playing this game called Stacker, paid 50 cents, and I actually got a $50 gift card to Target, so it took me about $10 worth of tries, but I made like a $40 net profit, so I'd say, yeah, it was definitely worth it. <laughs> I know it might seem a little crazy going 10 bucks after that, but I don't know, I, I feel like it was worth it. It's quite lonely without King K around. BOOM! No lonely, him too weak. Now him not here. So normal to Clefdor. You are in bomb denial. Clefdor, I saw you weeping in that locker. Bomb bomb. Oh look, we have a replacement. Wow, we just we just miss them so much. We miss our allies so much, we're just gonna replace them within ten seconds. Right this way, I so swoop. This is your dressing room. Not much of a dressing room. Welcome to hell. <laughs> You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've now just started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. Oh, great. She's just a bitch to everyone now, isn't she? Okay, so basically we're getting a review of everything we already learned before this guy did it. I don't know why they even bothered showing all of this. It seems kind of uh, pointless, honestly. Yeah, we know how this works. You don't have to explain it all again. Okay, good. Just wait for you, Sir Swoop. Okay. Um, hi, guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop. Sir Swoop, I mean. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to hell. Glad you made it. Oh, look, there goes the Great Keeper. Take your soul. Go on. Yeah, please, go go sell your soul out in the ring. Hopefully you don't die. I wonder if there's multiple of him in there. I don't know. All right. So let's see who we're fighting up against. Uh, we're fighting the Armored Harriers. That's right. You're darn tootin'. You're finally gonna make it out of Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't go on letting us down now. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with a cute little chickadee in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Oh yeah, you're, you're much more important than the actual crowd, yeah. I should feel so ashamed for not, like, drawing out the battle or anything just because you have a date and you want to watch me fight. I should take that as a compliment. Alright. So we're about to see if we can actually get into the major leagues right here. This is a big match, guys. This is important right here. Ooh, look, they even have different camera angles for it, how special it is. And now, today's main event, the Major League awaits the 11th-ranked Great Gonzalez. 
But only if he can beat the 10th rank powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins! The Iron Adonis Twins? First, let's beat the merciless executioner, folks! The Great Gonzalez! Gonzalez! Kick their iron tails! Don't you dare lose, dude! Love that mustache. <laughs> My fans, I just love them. Hooey! The Great Gonzalez! How you feeling? Okay, I guess. Just perfect, thanks. Burp! That is my warrior's cry right there. <clears throat> yep, that wasn't a mighty burp, but whatever. Who knew? I've heard the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up soon. Whoa. Those are some giant crooks. Good gravy! <laughs> Iron them out. Whoa, is Spike's legal? No, they're not legal. I can't get a mohawk nowadays. It, it, it's just like illegal. They'd arrest me for getting a spiked mohawk. Yuck, yuck. Your challenger's a real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Wait, what? The Iron Adonis Twins said? More like the paper dog face bros. And they stink. Wait, we we didn't say that, what? And then he said, I bet they play video games and cry when they lose. Um, yeah, and then he said, Audi belly buttons run in their family, stinkwads. What's wrong with Audi belly buttons? Not really, but what is wrong with Audi belly buttons? I think that's actually kind of neat to look at. I don't know why. I don't look at them, but, but I don't think it's like a bad thing. What? How does he know that mom has an Audi? That jerk. Okay, we're gonna blend you up in a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink you! Oh, and one more thing! Only smelly stinkwads call other people stinkwads, you understand, stinkwad? Squid. What? Simmer down there, bro! You stinkwad, you're gonna regret opening your yap, yeah, pal! See these buds? Solid iron! These spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically, what I'm telling you is, whatever you try will be completely useless! Think about that over in a very short time you have with that functional brain. Get yourself ran into battle! Okay, we didn't say any of that, and yet... Defeat your opponent five turns or less. Okay. Wow, if we win, we can actually be in the Major Leagues. Let's show our stuff. <laughs> Give up now. Well, Stinkwise, you're about to learn our skills the hard way. That's what she said! That's what she said! <laughs> Okay, so what we're actually going to do right here is call out Goombella, because we really don't know anything about these guys. We've never seen or even heard about them. Let's get her out, Rod Shop. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can actually generate a good strategy to fighting these guys. That's an Iron Club. That guy is scary, period. No, exclamation point. You see it right after the period? Yeah, exclamation mark. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is unknown. What? 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 What's with this book? It says no attack will work against the Iron Clef. What? What? It says nothing in the world is as hard as an Iron Clef, and so its defense is impenetrable. That's what she said, but what? If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with one with the other. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. Wait, what? 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 Wait, wait, we can't win this? How did people beat these guys in order to get to the major leagues if they can't even be defeated? I guess we have no choice but to run away. We can't win this fight. There's no way to beat them. Wow, I almost didn't make it away. We got ourselves a winner! The Armored Barriers! Don't worry, this is required, so you do have to run away or lose to them. No matter what, don't use any items during the match. But, <laughs> until like that, we tried to tell you, but no! If you want another piece of bubble pie, then have a bath and come on back, punk! Yeah, you look like a rocker, punk. Jeez, that was humiliating. The fact that I actually fell down when I tried to run. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Wow, you actually get money for losing. What a country. Oh, this is... I just got one coin. Whatever. Screw you, lady. I don't give a crap. Hey, check it out. Our little eggy friend is gone. What a bummer. Where do you think the little guy took off to? Yo! Wait, what was that? <gasps> oh my god, he's so cute! Oh god, I'm about to pass out. That was, But that was so worth it. Gonzalez! Check me out! Thanks to you, I had safe and sound! Thanks, man! What? I'm a mother?! What? Mama Mario? 
<laughs> what? You were in that cute little eggy weggy? Whoa, that's wild. Yeah, especially the fact that you called it an eggy weggy. What the frick? Yeah, but who cares? You want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? I heard all about it while I was in the egg. Yeah! Anyways, I gotta repay you for saving me from the old hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. Awesome! I can hold my own! I'll swallow an opponent's hole! Honest, just leave it to me! Um... Huh? My name? Let's see. I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. Uh, you seem fired out about it. Why don't you c give me one? Make it cool, okay? Okay, so this new partner right here is a young baby Yoshi. We can actually name him whatever we want. I haven't actually picked one out for him because, quite honestly, I don't really know what to name him. He's actually a pretty cool partner. He's one of my favorite in the game, to be honest with you. And I just do not know what to name him. Okay, so let's just, um, I'm going to cut ahead until I can actually think of something because, oh my god. Okay, this name just struck me out of the blue. I think it would actually be a good one. I have no idea where this came from. It just, like, hit me on the back of the head. I think this would be good. Draft? Yeah, I think that actually works pretty well. Huh, like, like papers get caught up in the draft and stuff? I, I don't know. I, I think this would actually be a good name. I like it. Hmm, draft, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some damage. The young Joshi has now your friend! He'll answer to draft. Cause we've drafted him into the army of the onslaught of the glitz pits and stuff like that. I don't I don't I don't know. His abilities! Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. Wow! That's a uh, parenting abuse, isn't it? While riding the Yoshi, you'll move much faster. Surprisingly. Actually very surprisingly with this. Also, while in the Yoshi, if you press A, you'll float briefly in the air. So yes, we actually now have a hover ability that Yoshis tend to generally have. That's pretty nice, huh? Also, in battle, if you can completely bounce on enemies using his ground power move, or you can use a gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. So you can eat things and spit them out. I could do that too, but it doesn't damage people, so I don't know how to feel about that. So, what we have here is a green Yoshi. There are actually a variety of different colors you can get on, of Yoshi, depending on how long it takes you from the first time you get it, this match right here. The green one right here I got takes from 0 to 6 minutes, so I actually did it a pretty fast time. It goes from all the way to 30 minutes where you can actually get a black Yoshi, and that takes a while. Stop following me, Bomb Bomb, that's creepy. But um, yes, there are quite a variety of uh, Yoshis. I'll put the uh, list on the screen of how long you have to uh, wait until you can actually get the color you want. There are about a good eight of them, I believe. If not, then there's probably six or seven. I think it's eight, though. So, with our new Yoshi partner right here, we're going to call this an episode. So next time, on Paper Mario and the Millennium Door, we're going to use this little buddy in our party to see if he can actually help us with the next match up in the Glitz Pists. Hopefully getting us up to the major rankings. I will see you guys next time for more Paper Mario and the Millennium Door. L8 bitches!